Hey folks, how you doing? Pastor Daryl here, Hope and Healing Ministries. Today I'd like to give you a brief tutorial on some handy ice cleats that I've been using for the last few years while walking in the River Valley here in Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta. If you're serious about getting off the couch and moving around in God's great outdoors, then stay with us. And remember, there's no such thing as poor weather, just poor clothing and poor footwear. Good news! I've got a package today in the mail that I've been waiting for for a few weeks now. I think I know what's in it. Let's check it out together. Let me show you one of the best $5 eBay deals that you can purchase today. Aha! My new cleats. I need new ones. My old ones wore out because I've used them so much. Let me show you how I put them on and why I wear them. All right, well, let me tell you a little bit about why and how I use these. Four years ago, when we started walking down in the river valley, it became apparent to my wife and I that when the snow melts and then it freezes again overnight, it can get really treacherous down there. And that can go on throughout the winter. So we decided to buy some cleats. We looked at a few different types of cleats like these ones we bought from a local work warehouse in town here and they didn't really work that well they looked like they were gonna have a good grip but they just kept coming off and then we purchased another pair off eBay like these and they didn't really work that well either there wasn't enough cleats on them and they just kept coming off so I decided to try these out and they come in black and orange but I like the orange ones they're just a brighter color but uh, the old ones that I have here, they just started getting cracked and the cleats were starting to come off because we walk hard down in the river valley. And um, so it's time for me to put on a new pair. Now I'm just going to take these ones off. Okay, so with the new pair, I'll show you what size that I use. When you purchase these off eBay, it gives you a size chart and it recommends that you're supposed to match the size of these cleats up to the size of your shoe foot size but I found that that just doesn't work. Uh, for example these are a size three to five they're a small size I take a size eight hiking boot size shoe size but these are three to five and I bought them smaller because if you buy the size that actually fits your shoe a size eight um, there's just not enough tension on the rubber and they just keep coming off. When the weather is cold, I've found that the cold weather tends to cause the rubber to lose its elasticity and it just keeps coming off. So with a size three to five, you have to pull on it quite a bit in order to get it to wrap around and you're not gonna get your back four cleats right on the heel, it'll be in the middle of the shoe, but that's all right because most of the pressure that you're putting on is on the front of the shoe and uh, it just works well that way. And so we also lace them up on the back just to give that extra security and I'll show you how I do that. You take a, just an extra shoelace that you have from some old pair of shoes and fold it in half with the loop right there and then you just thread it through the back and then put these two strands right through that loop and pull on it and now you've got an extra lace that you can lace around the front and they stay on, they never come off. So let me do that to this next one here too. There you go. Now we've got them both laced up properly and with the extra secure lace on it. And uh, let's put them on.
Right, we're ready to go try them out. But before we do that, just want to mention to you also that what I've done is I've purchased some extra cleats, replacement cleats. You can get off eBay. They're like a dollar for 10 of them, and I order 30 of them. Three dollars. You just can't beat a deal like that. And um, I just keep them handy, keep a couple extra in my pocket. And uh, they're pretty easy to put in. Let me show you how that's done. You take your cleat, and you got to be assertive on this as you pull the rubber out, and then just stretch the the rubber out and lift up the cleat until it fits into the little groove right there and it stays well all right there you go we've got them laced up we're ready to go let's go try them out go for a walk Let me show you why we love to walk in the river valley. Follow me. There are hundreds, maybe a couple thousand of them. All right, so there you have it. You've got your marching orders. Don't let any weather conditions keep you from getting out in the great outdoors and moving around. We'll see you in the next video. And remember, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God.